Hi friends, Shay here. So today I am going to film a try a chapter tag. So essentially if you've not ever seen one of these videos, I am going, I've got five books picked out and I'm not sure what I want to pick up to read next. I'm almost done with a reread of one of my favorites. So I thought I would go ahead and film this video while I had some time and pick out my next read. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's talk about all the things I'm going to pick up and then we will dive into each one as I read the first chapter. So the first one here is Bookish and the Beast. This one's by Ashley Poston. This is technically book three in the Once Upon a Con series. I have not read any of the others yet, but I do fully intend to pick them up later. But this is the one that appealed the most to me because it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Y'all know me and Beauty and the Beast retelling, so it's just a mood, a moment, it's a thing. We're going with it. So I wanted to try the first chapter of this one because it's been sitting around for me to read for far too long. The next one I have might surprise some people, but this is a translated work. This is The Housekeeper and The Professor by Yoko Ogawa. I've heard good and bad things about this, so I don't know where I'm going to land with it. But this is one that has definitely been intriguing to me. It's not a super long book. And I love the deckled edges and the, how floppy it is. Everything about this just is appealing to me. Even the sakura blossoms. And yes, um, this is a very acclaimed book. And I do believe that it is slightly taboo. So I don't know if it's cheating. I'm not going to predict anything at this point. But yes, this is on the list. Next up is a light novel that I had picked up, but I'm not remembering too much because I only read a chapter or two and I just wasn't feeling it at the time. So I decided to give it another try and that is The King of the Dead and the Dark Palace. And this is just giving off like Hades and Persephone vibes. I don't know if that's true or not, but at the very least I see these two teaming up and causing mischief. So light novels can sometimes read a little bit stunted compared to a traditional novel. So that's usually what puts me off from light novels. Um, I do have some where I, I do have one author that I know I love their light novels. Um, and that's one that the same one that did at Night I Become a Monster. Um, I've read three by them now and I really enjoy it. And I do love their light novels because they tend to flow really nicely. So I'm hoping good things out of this just because I'm so interested in the story. Next up is one that I should have picked up eons ago. Y'all are going to yell at me if I don't pick this one up out of these, and that is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. I loved Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi, so I know I love her writing. I do know a lot of people didn't like this one quite as much as Permanent Record, or Yolk for that matter, which I do have Yolk as well. But I really have a feeling I'm going to like this one, probably more than some others. So I'm really excited to give this one a try as well. And then last but not least, I have Clara and the Sun by Kazuo Ishiguro. I love Kazuo Ishiguro's writing. That's not something I talk about a lot on this channel because I focus a lot more on the manga and the romance, but I do really love their work. And this is their most recent release. I have not read it yet. And I would love to possibly get to this one as well. So with that said, I'm going to try the first chapter of these. I'm just going to kind of randomly pick a number between one and five kind of a situation and go from there. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick up first, but you guys will know in a second. Alrighty, so I've actually read about 40 pages of this. So I'm still in chapter one. So that's one thing I'm noticing about this is the chapters are fairly long. Um, so I read the entire prologue and so I've kind of got a situation of what's going on. So this young man here is named End. He remembers his human name, but he has been risen from the dead by a necromancer. So we're dealing with necromancy and then we've got, um, he's just um, come across a young woman named Lou. She's the only other living being besides his master in the castle. Um, we don't know too much about her yet, but he is growing in strength. He was very weak and sickly um, as a child when he was living. And so now he is, you know, given commands by his master. But at the same time, um, he still has his own mind, which seems to be really interesting 
there's been rumblings that he might turn into a ghoul. So I don't know, but I'm enjoying it so far. Um, not sure I'm in the mood for this. I might actually save it for fall, you know, September, October, spooky season. I don't know. We'll see how things are going as we progress. But as of right now, I do think it's a solid contender. It's interesting. I'm just not a hundred percent sure that I'm actually in the mood for it, which was kind of the thing I was feeling um, when I picked it up previously. So with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the next book. So I just finished the first kind of pausing point in Clara and the Sun. So this is another one without chapters. Um, it's done in parts instead. So in this one, we have a robot named Clara who um, soaks up the sun. That's how she's powered. She's solar powered. And in the beginning, we have this teenage girl who had driven by the store the day before where Clara is currently. And she drug her mom in the next day just so she could talk to Clara because she knew that this was the companion robot for her. And so that's kind of all I've got so far. I do know that this is literary fiction and that everything is going to be from Clara's perspective. So I think it's going to be really interesting um, as we go along. She's technically called an artificial friend in AF, um, but she's, she's a sentient kind of robot. So she's able to respond to Josie's the girl's name as Josie kind of chats with her. So it's going to be really interesting. I think it's going to be a really interesting look at humanity through the eyes of this AF. So um, I, I would pick this one up over the previous one so far. So right now, this one is the top runner. Alrighty, so I just finished the first chapter of Emergency Contact, and in this we have a young woman named Penny. Penny is kind of at a transition in life. She's getting ready to go to college. Um, she has a boyfriend who's younger than her currently, and she's thinking about breaking up with him. Her mom tends to flirt with everybody that walks by, and so she's just generally frustrated with her life. Um, I believe the other perspective that we are going to have is a guy named Sam, and he is the next chapter, so I don't know anything about him yet. But with what's going on with Penny, I am intrigued by this. But I don't think I'm more intrigued than I was with Clara and the Sun. So I think this is, right now is standing at a very close second because it's still feeling more like what I'm wanting to read right now than the other one. The, the long light novel title. So... <laughs> With that said, I'm going to put this one under Clara back here. I've got them all right here. And kind of keep in order so that I know which one I'm feeling up to next. Because this one is definitely interesting. And I do enjoy Mary H.K. Choi's writing. And I think if, they're, if her personality doesn't really grow and evolve over the course of the book, I can understand why people didn't love this so much. So with that said, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so The Housekeeper and the Professor was not what I was expecting it to be, but honestly, I'm really enjoying it. So The Housekeeper and the Professor is about this woman who has come to work and clean for this woman. She has this brother-in-law. He has a memory problem where he only remembers new information for about 80 minutes. And so after that, he just kind of like resets. And this happened because of an accident years ago. And so he's just kind of been living in a time loop. And so she goes every day from 11 to 7 to clean, feed him, make sure he's taken care of. 
and they start to form a really sweet friendship so far. I do see that developing into a relationship soon, but yes, I'm very interested. It's not feeling totally taboo at this point because they've found a way for him to start to remember her as she comes back, and she's been very patient with him and he with her, and it's really sweet so far. It does involve a lot of math and numbers because that's the kind of professor he is. Um, though we don't have names. It's just the professor and the housekeeper. Like, that's... We don't have their names at this point. And so it's really kind of ambiguous and really well done so far. I really like whoever did this translation. Uh, Steven Snyder did the translation on this. And I think it's really well done. Because it, it still flows beautifully. I, it doesn't feel stunted or clunky. And I've seen that with... Um, other translated works, but not with um, not with this one at all. So honestly, I am more interested in this one than Clara at the moment. So this just moved to the top of the stack and we've got one more book to read. So I just finished Bookish and the Beast by Ashley Poston. Well, chapter one. And it's really, really cute. It's a little too cutesy for me right now. So I do think this is moving into third place. So what that means that this is the winning order. So I think the one I'm most interested in right now is The Housekeeper and the Professor. And from there, I'm going to move on to Clara and the Sun. And then Bookish and the Beast. And then Emergency Contact. But I do think that this one I'm going to put on hold till fall. It's just giving me all of those fall vibes. So I, I think I want to wait a couple months, maybe September, pick it up again. But I, I really enjoy where it's headed. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that one turns out. But, you know, I've got these books that I'm going to read in short order. And... Yeah, so I'm going to continue to do these videos. I'm focusing more on my physical TBR that I own. These are all buddy reads I'm doing with Lindsay, so we got to get on it a bit. And so you'll probably see these once a month at least going forward. And let me guys let me know what you guys think of these kinds of videos down below. If you're here just because you love me, put a book stack because that's what I'm working through. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.